Hello there, welcome to Sam Radio Adventures. I'm Chuck, KK6USY, and today we're going to take a look at radios that I think, my personal opinion, that uh, new hams could look at for to buy new. We're not going to look at any used radios or anything like that. We're going to look at what you can buy off the shelf right now. So if this is something you're interested in, make sure you stick around to the end. All right, let's take a look at some of the new radios out. So today I am going to only look at new radios. I think that uh, as a new ham, sometimes you don't have the ability to look at used radios and actually figure out if it's working properly and if you're getting a good deal. And what I found out when I was a new ham is that um, new radios have free shipping. If you're not buying something from somebody that you know or somebody that's close by that you can drive and pick up, it's expensive to ship a radio. And all your new radios pretty much come with new shipping because they usually it's a hundred dollars or more and they all cost more than a hundred dollars so let's take a look at some of the offerings that's out there right now i think first we're going to start with shack in the box which is a radio that it will do all the hf and two meter and 70 centimeter and so let's look at the first one we're going to look at the ic 7100 right now it's about twelve hundred dollars all right and it's a nice little radio it has two pieces the head is separate from the bot from the actual radio itself, if you as you can see in the picture here. And there's a look at the back of it. I'll just go through the different pictures here. And it, it does look like it has a uh, it might have a quarter twenty on the bottom. It has a way to mount it, so that's kind of nice. Of the of the ones we're gonna look at, this one's probably a little bit better for like mobile use, okay? But you can use this in the house also. So let's look at the specifications down here. And, and I'm not affiliated with uh, DX Engineering. Their site just be, seems to be one of the easiest to use and to find things. So it's a 7100. They call it a base transceiver. Uh, ICOM IC7100, HF, VHF, and UHF base mobile, base slash mobile transceiver. All right? And that's kind of what I said earlier. So you need a license. So, and, and most people, what we're looking here is if you have your tech license or a new general good radios for you guys to start out with and i'll talk about a couple another one in this range that I, i'm not going to recommend unless you've had a radio for a while and been a ham for a while it's, it's a nice radio it just is not what i would call good for somebody that's new okay internal hf and tuner and it says no so it doesn't have an internal tuner not a not a deal breaker guys you can buy an, an aftermarket one it has one receiver uh receive range is uh, 0.030 to 199.999 uh, receive range 2 is 400 to 470 megahertz okay it has one receiver uh, no dual watch no roofing filter capability no it says uh, transceiver power supply external not included so you have to have either a battery if you're running it portable or a 12 volt well you want 13.8 volt antenna ports it has two so I would consider that's probably one for the HF and one for the UHF VHF. I've never actually played with this radio. I've seen it. I just never hooked it up before. Uh, dedicated receive antenna input, no. And that's everything we're looking at today. Is not, no, nothing's going to have that. Uh, digital mode audio input and output, uh, USB or 13. So I think you can run like FT8 and stuff like that, digital modes. I think it does have an internal uh, sound card, so you don't have to add anything to it. As, as will most of these radios that we're looking at today. External display capability, no. Most of these won't have that either. Some of, well, Actually, a few of them will. Voice synthesizer uh, capability, no. And I think that's kind of a Yaesu thing, guys. So um, it's just in their list. Hand microphone, yes. And the size is 6.563 by 2.5 inches by 13.3 inches. Now, that's two pieces, though, guys. So I don't know which one they're actually... Uh, measuring there. Oh, the control head is down here. It's six and a half by two point, roughly two and a half by three. So it, it'll do a hundred watts on your HF bands, and it'll do fifty watts on two meter, thirty-five watts on um, seventy centimeter. Okay, nice choice if you like D Star or you have a lot of D Star repeaters around you. Okay, so it, it'll do all these things, all the modes here. You guys can stop this and look at it. I'm not going to. I'm not going to read everything here. Okay. So let's check out a different one now. I think we're going to go to a Yesu. We're going to go to the FT-991A. I've owned this radio. It's a great radio, and I've just sold it recently to buy a 710, which is something we'll look at later. 
this is i think in this class of all all band all mode or shack in the box i think this is the best buy out there it's an older radio i think it's newer than the 7100 but an older radio and you'll i'll show you why i think it's i mean you can buy a 705 and that's the radio i'm not going to recommend for new hams the 705 is a great radio it's newer than this has a little nicer screen a little bigger screen which is pretty big for a qrp but it's 10 watts max and to do what this radio do and it's thirteen hundred dollars roughly this one's twelve hundred dollars right now to do what this does you have to buy amps to go with it okay three amps actually you would need one for hf two meter and 70 centimeter so let me just click on this it has a nice screen not the not the nicest screen in the you know out there but pretty good for it for when it came out it was a nice screen okay and it's c4 fm this one you can also yeah do c4 fm like 10 meters there's uh digital 10 meter stuff that you can do some of that i i like the screen i, I thought it was pretty decent like i said it's probably not the prettiest or biggest screen out there but it does well okay so there's the back of the radio you can do ft8 with this one no problem at all i i it was my favorite radio that i own but for 100 watts this was my favorite radio for uh at, at one time for doing ft8 let's go down to the specifications they call it a base transceiver it says hf vhf uhf this one has an internal antenna tuner or matcher whatever you get it doesn't tune the antenna really it just matches it and that's something the 71 doesn't the 7100 doesn't have and it doesn't have the nice screen the receive range is basically the same uh, has three ranges here you can always stop this and look has a single receiver just like the other radio all the ones we're looking at today are going to be single receivers because of the price point guys i'm trying to keep this fairly obtainable for most people that are getting into this and i understand it may be too much for some of you guys and that's that's okay you still need an external power supply basically same puts out about the same or dry draws about 23 amps i checked mine that's way overrated it's not it wasn't near 23 amps i full power guys 18 i think is all i all mine drew okay the, the size of this is nine inches by 3.2 inches by nine and a half inches and the face does not come off this radio guys so if you're looking for something that you do want to use mobile the 7100 is probably a better choice i think overall this is the better choice so it's 100 watts on hf 50 watts on two meters and also 50 watts on 70 centimeter so this just goes through here and i'll just pause it here a second so you can look at it if you want to look at it okay so now we're going to go we're going to go into just regular hf radios and i'm only going to pick radios that do hf through six okay one, one of the most popular radios out for a long time now has been the ic7300 i when i bought my 991a if this had two meter and 70 centimeter i probably would have bought this just to try an icom okay but it didn't have that, and I wanted to do sideband. That's the advantage of the, all the shack in the boxes. You guys can do two meter sideband or 70, 70 centimeter sideband, and that's something I like to do, at least two meter, because I live in a place where two meter is pretty good. So this is a great radio, got a great screen on it. Uh, it does 100 watts on all the HF bands, and here's the back of it. Has one, uh, one inlet for uh, your antenna. Has a really nice screen, guys. Um, that's one of the things I do like about the, uh, the 705 also it's same screen and the menu system's pretty easy. I actually get confused on the icons because I'm so used to it's, it's kind of what you guys get used to. If you get used to a certain brand, then that brand seems easier for you when you make a switch or buy something different. Let's just go down and look at some of the, uh, the specs on it basically it has to have a, a license just like all, all of them have to have that internal antenna yes and i'll do a watch no it only has one receiver like i said that's going to be pretty much common on everything we look at today the size is 9.45 by 37 by 9.3 the weight's 9.226 pounds about the same size as the 991a just a tad i think it's like a half inch wider and a little bit taller they both would probably fit in the same size little go box though, okay? 100 watts on all the different bands. And, and this shows your transmit. This shows something a little bit different here, but you're, oh no, yeah. Doesn't show the power out, but it's 100 watts on all of these. I think we'll go to, 
I want to make sure this is not the okay. The FTDX10. This is probably the best radio of all the radios and the most expensive radio that I'm going to show you guys today. Right now it's thirteen nine ninety nine ninety five, but with mail in rebate you can get it for eleven. Wow, eleven about twelve hundred dollars, guys. That's actually a really good buy, considering that what was the. Uh, Let's look at the uh, the seventy three hundred was eleven hundred dollars after mail in rebate. After seeing this right here, it may I might change my mind on the the best value for your money because this is the probably the best radio in the in the bunch that I'm showing today. Make sure you stick around to the end to see what radio I pick as the best bang for your dollar. Let's get back to the radios. It has a little more you know bells and whistles. It has the biggest screen. This is a bigger screen than the 7300 or any of the radios that I've shown you so far. And after the mail-in rebate, this is a pretty good price, guys. $1,200. The one I'm going to show you is a better a better price. But uh, this one's a really nice radio, guys. Really nice screen. They've got this 3D thing. Not my thing, but some people might like it. And I, I think contesters like this for some reason. I don't know why. Now, here's the back of it. It still has one inch. I would have bought one of these radios to replace my 3000 except it only had one antenna versus three that my 3000 has, which that gives you the third one, and that one is a, you can hook up a listening antenna, and when you transmit, it goes to whichever the one or two that you pick for your transmit. And that was the only thing this didn't have that kept me from buying this right away, all right, to replace mine. And then they're showing it with, this is an optional speaker. It doesn't come with a speaker. So basically, pretty much the same specs as the last last rated like the uh, 7300 you have to have a license has an internal tuner it says 23 amps um, at max current i do know that all the radios that all the aces i've had that they were they overrated them i guess that could that could be the potentially the the most it puts out but i've never had one put that much out has a hand, hand mic just like all the other ones this one the radio width of this is 10.472 uh, height is 3583, and the radio depth is 10.354, about the same size. size. All right, your maximum power is 100 watts, minimum power 5 watts, and AM 25 and 5 on AM minimum. And this shows you all the frequencies that it covers, transmit frequencies, okay? The, I think, personally right now, and I bought this radio, so I might be a little biased, but I think for the money right now, the best radio that you can buy is the next one we're going to look at. And I'm going to show you the more expensive one first. Now this is the FT710 from Yesu. It's not a hybrid like the DX10 that I just showed you. It's a it's a full SDR, more like the 7300. I really like this radio, and this is what I sold my, my 991A to buy. I really wish Yesu would bring this radio out to replace the 991A. Add 2 meters and 70 centimeters to, or something similar to this, okay? They're very similar radios, except the screen's way nicer on this one. Now, this one has a really nice screen, just like this, the 10. You can add a monitor. In the T, and I didn't mention that on the FTDX10. You can add a monitor to that one also. You can add a monitor to this one. The 7300, there is a way to do it, but it doesn't come from the factory that way. And here's the back of it. Same thing as the other one. Just All the other ones are just one because this only has HF, so it's got one coming in. But this one comes with this comes with the microphone, the SSM75E, which is a new microphone for Yesu. I don't know if it's any different inside, but it does look physically different. But it comes with this SP40 high-quality external speaker. And that's the kind of claim to fame this has had the AESS, which uses the original speaker up on top and this speaker, and you can do different percentages. It does sound really good. It's a really nice-sounding radio. And it does all the same stuff as the 10 and the 70, 7300. They actually have more write up because it's, an, it's one of the newest radios out right now. And this is all your different frequencies. I'll pause for a second. It does have an antenna tuner. Okay, here we go. The specs were just lower. That, there's, there's a lot of that stuff. You guys can go there and look yourself. If, uh, it's DX Engineering or any of the places sell these, okay? So it's a base base uh, radio also you need a license has an internal tuner the internal tuners on these are pretty good uh, I've been impressed they're they're not the quickest I've ever heard but they do tune up a lot I mean I've tuned up more than three to one and then size on this one 
This is about the exact same size as the 991A, pretty dang close. Bigger screen. Uh, this has the same size screen as the 7300. I think it's aimed at the 7300. It came out just recently. I mean, it's been out for a year or two, but and it weighs about nine pounds. It's a nine by four. Uh, height is 3.1 and radio depth 9.7. 100 watts and it does 160 through six. Really nice radio, guys, uh, especially for the money. Let's go back to the price up here. Oops. So this one right now is on sale for a thousand dollars. One of the cheapest radios we've looked at so far. This is with the radio and the speaker. Let's take a look at one more thing. The same radio without the speaker. Now they have the one here is called the Field. Now the Field comes with a, a strap or something. I don't. Uh, I didn't actually look at that, but it's the same exact radio without the speaker. This one's nine hundred dollars, guys. I I think I want to. I want to say I paid just a little less than that when I bought that when I bought mine and that's why I bought it. It was around around this price. So this is this is my pick as the best all around best price, you know, bang for your buck. If you like iComs, buy the 7300. It doesn't really matter to me. It's what you like. If you like the looks of it, if you like the looks of this, buy this, you like the tin, look at that. Okay? So this is basically it has the same exact specs as the other one. Is the uh, regular the AESS just without the speaker? Kenwood really right now doesn't offer anything in this price range. What I would call a entry level radio. They still have the five ninety. That one's more than a seven. That one's more than a DX ten. We'll look at it real quick. Just just the price on it. But the the eight ninety is like really expensive. But here's the five ninety. It's almost two thousand dollars. It's a pretty old radio. Good radio. I almost bought one when I bought my 3000. All right, we're going to look at the G90. Uh, I'm going to look at Radiotity because it's one of the places I know that actually has it. I, I'm i not sure. There might be other places that sell it, but this is where I'm going to go. So this is, a, this is a considered kind of a QRP radio that does 20 watts. QRP, if you guys don't know, is 5, five to 10 watts most of the time, usually 5. So lower, temper, lower uh, wattage. I'm going to include this one because with this this list because this one does come with a tuner and it's a good tuner it's a better tuner than all the other ones it's probably like a 10 to 1 tuner it'll tune almost anything it's an SDR radio also this has been one of uh, Zygu's better received radios this thing a lot of people love this thing it's not super super small and it's not really a bass radio but you can use it for bass you can use any of these for bass even if they're more mobile but um and I, I, you can add things to this, this little kit over here, if you look on where my cursor is. It's the uh, CE19. You can add that to it to do data modes, data modes, okay? And they have a few options for it. There's a fan here, and there's a little stand there. The fan gives you the stand. I guess if you run this thing at 20 and do digital modes, it's it may get warm. I'm not sure. I've never I've never owned one. I've been around one being used, and it, it, worked fine. it seemed to work fine. It does 10 through 160. It doesn't do 6 meters, so... I'm kind of doing something I said I wouldn't do, but for the price point of this one, I'm going to add this one in here because it's um, four hundred and forty-five dollars right now. So, so the cheapest radio that we've looked at all day. All right, I hope this was helpful. If it was helpful, please hit that like button there. If you do like contests like this and you're not a subscriber already, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell. Hit the uh, all. That way you get all my future videos. I'm Chuck KK6USY for Hammer Adventures. 73 all and hope to catch you guys on the airwaves and maybe it will be on your new HF radio.